Right, the next job involves installing these hydraulic lifters. So we've got 10 of them, all brand new. They'll go in here. I'm going to lube up the, um, these cam bearing caps. So we'll oil up the, bear, the bearing caps. We'll fit the camshaft on. Um, I've got some sealant so we can seal these two M1s. And also, I made a couple of bookmarks here. First one for all my torque wrench settings. And I am still going to be following the instructions of how to assemble everything, doing it the way that the Haynes says. And the technical bulletin that I said I was going to speak to you about. So, reasons why valve breakage after a cylinder head rebuild, possibly due to hydraulic lifter failure or possibly due to incorrect located valve spring and misalignment. It is just saying that to prevent any valve damage, to replace the hydraulic lifters, make sure you have new hydraulic lifters, everything's lubed up, and that you've applied new oil filter and new oil. You've also got to leave the engine for 12 hours overnight um, after the engine's been built, let everything settle and then turn it three times by hand and that should eliminate any chance of any kind of valve failure. Right, so the first thing is, is to get these lifters in. Right, so we've got the first two in. A little bit of oil. So we get more uh, brake cleaner on it. Just clean off all this uh, oily residue. Because apparently, this isn't oil that's in here. Well, it is an oil. But it's more for a protection through storage and transit. Not for a lubrication in engine components. hydraulic lifters they're all in there now so uh, next job will be camshaft this seals um, I do have the new ones here to go on so I'm just going to go ahead clean all this up now get a bit of brake cleaner on there clean everything up because I haven't cleaned this yet I haven't touched it I inspected it and then it's just been left so I'm going to skip forward get this cleaned and then we'll get it installed. Right, so we've uh, got it all cleaned up. Um, so what we've got to do now, when placing the camshaft on, we've got to have 
the lobes pointing up. So we've got to set it up TDC. So the lobes for cylinder one, these need to be facing up. So these are the lobes for cylinder one. So that's the way it's going to go in. I know this is for cylinder one because this end is where the little timing uh, plate goes in so we can make sure it is dead TDC. So that's the way that's going to go on. Before we put this on, everything needs to be oiled up. So uh, a little square everywhere. shaft needs to be oiled up as well. So again everything's nice and lubed. to carefully place this on. Lubricate the lips of the new oil seals in engine oil then locate on the front and rear of the camshaft making sure that the closed end of the face faces outwards from the camshaft take care to avoid the seal lip Next job is sealing on here. There we go. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. That's what it shows. Like that. Okay then. And then, oh, we got to smear it with a bit of oil. I'll show you my hands again, just making sure everything's nice and clean. There you go, so that goes over like that. And that's number four and number two. So there's number two.
Yeah, the bearing caps are mounted off centre. Yeah, we know that. We're putting them back on straight off. Smear maintenance, yeah, uh, oil up at certain fit two and four. Right, so it says first fit number two, and then press down and tighten this one. tighten progressively right yeah it says to progressively tighten these to the required torque yeah what I'm doing is I'm slowly lowering it down Right, they're all a little bit tight now. Well, they're all tight, not torqued up. So we're going to torque them next, apparently, before we put the other two on. And the torque, I've got one of these, Sealy from Machine Mart. So, you know. So this is a calibrated torque wrench comes with a little certificate as well, a little compliance one, and a little storage case, happy days. Look at that, ooh, gorgeous. Right, so we need to set this up at 20. There we go, so that's set up at 20. I'm just making sure they're all the same kind of tightness before I actually torque it. So let's just check again. Camshaft bearing nuts, 20, 20 newton meters. Just checking again, making sure it is 20. Be it. That's the click then. Oh, um, it's the best way of doing it like that, I guess. There we go. So they're all talked up. Happy days. Now we do one and three. All right, so a little bit of the sealant again. All right, so a little bit of lube again. Everyone likes a bit of lube. Well, we do in this case, that's for sure. Ooh. 
lovely loads of lube. Nice, all installed. So I've just looked through the Haynes manual and it's saying next to put on the flywheel, um, the pulleys for the diesel pump and the timing. Then it says to fit the injectors and the glow plugs. Also the water unit that goes on the side here says to fit that. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the rocker cover cam case cover over for now to give that a bit of protection uh, while I go get everything sorted out and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this video up here and we'll do this the cylinder head install part one and then part two we'll loosely put the pulleys on because obviously I need them loose so when I installed it to time everything up so we'll leave it there. We'll see you all soon. Take care, stay safe, God bless.